Hey guys and girls, how's it going? New Little here, as always, with this new handsome looking killer, Ed Gein. I mean Leatherface. I mean the cannibal. He's the newest killer added to Dead by Daylight. And he seems pretty good so far. I've listened to a couple streamers, and they put him in about middle of the pack, below the hillbilly. But I believe he has his place to shine. As you can see here, his primary weapon, arguably, is the same sledgehammer, mallet, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is very akin to the hillbilly. They don't have much in common, except for the fact that they enjoy killing people, and they're probably both hillbillies. And here's his chainsaw. Uh, here's a, a tip I'd like to make is that um, I tried to rev it going up hills, going up stairs, but you lose a lot of speed even with bloodlust on you. And as you can see here, what it does is his right click He'll basically do five chainsaw swipes, and if he hits him, it's an instant dying state. If he misses, it's a little stun, and it can also be postponed, as you see here. So basically, this guy kind of promotes a, a style of just keep chainsaw swinging until you hit someone. You're eventually going to hit them, hopefully. And coming up, you'll see uh, the different effects of what the chainsaw does. It's sort of similar to the hillbillies. Um, not word for word, like I said, but it's very similar in playstyle. So here, you usually lead off with the hammer, or you can just chainsaw rush them, but being as the hillbilly charges them, this one sort of does, but with each swing, you basically take a step or two, so it's not like you speed at them. He's also not very fast, is what I've noticed. He doesn't move as quickly as other killers. He doesn't get around as easy. But his mallet seems to do the thing. And his animation feels a little bit longer than what most killers are used to. And here's me. Uh, you can hold the chainsaw. I'm pretty much, if you get someone in the corner with this killer, the only problem is that it only takes one hit to down them. But you have to do the entire animation of him swing, 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 swing. And it cannot be cancelled. And here's his animation of grabbing someone out of a closet. Pretty standard, just a normal grab. Also, um, if you kind of chainsaw wrong, you'll go into a tantrum. So if you hit an object or anything along that, um, you'll do what is called a tantrum, such as a child does. Basically, the killer will do random three swings, but the thing is they still do damage, but you can't control them at this point, and you cannot prevent them. Also, uh, pictured here, just like the hillbilly, you can chainsaw down the pallets. And like I mentioned earlier here, See, I was within one swing of a down there. You kind of just have to keep going for it and doing your best on just trying to down them. See, I could easily get her with my hammer here, but then it would be double the work. See, right here on the second to last chop, I get her, which results in a, in a successful kill. Then here's... I also put some little throwaway clips in here just so you can see more of um more of just general gameplay with him instead of just here's what this does and here's what this does instead of just oh here's the chainsaw and everything he's also pictured here a very good at hook camping even though i do not recommend you hook camp seeing as how the rest will do generators um because he is one of the only killers who is able to do damage to two targets at once with his with his chainsaw you can hit unlimited targets in front of you. So say if you're just out of sight and a, a survivor's on the hook, right? And he has come and they try to rescue him and all that. And you catch both of them. Assume he pulled him off. You put the one guy back up and you can just leave the other guy down there. Because he'll eventually bleed out. Or you can put him on another hook. He's... I don't think many people see him that way. But that's how I'd... Kind of prescribe this killer prescribe he's he's definitely got a powerful kit he gets a lot stronger with his perks which i'm going to put in the end of this video i've heard streamers talk about how they're probably best in slot for killers once you learn them 
And again there where um, you can just kick it down with your chainsaw because it was nearing the end. You're going to find yourself thinking with this killer, why am I not playing the hillbilly? <laughs> I wonder that myself except for that he's iconic. He's very fun. From my experience, I feel like Billy is a lot better because you have so much more map presence, whereas this guy can kind of fall into the category of getting kited until you get some good perks. As you may notice here, um, I do not have many perks. I actually only had one perk, but this guy does his best. You really kind of... there's People try to compare him to the hillbilly, and if you look at it that way, I think it really devalues him. I think you more have to value him on his AoE damage, uh, such as the fact where if someone's on a hook and they come and try to pull him off, um, that you can get both of them. So basically a general rotation for this guy, there's kind of a priority. Say you're hook camping or something, which you shouldn't be unless you're this guy. A guy pulls him off the hook, you're not going to hammer both of them. Whereas the hillbilly would have to rush both of them, this guy excels in AoE. And right here, if they're unaware, it's the simplest kill. And his chainsaw is ever so quieter than the hillbillies. Not by much, but just a little bit so. And then here, see, whereas the hillbilly would have gotten this kill, I kind of had to, and see how I hit those spikes? That's a tantrum, slash one, slash two, slash three. There's a couple gray areas. There's going to be a lot of comparisons between him and the hillbilly, because they excel at certain things, like the hillbilly is more map presence over this guy, whereas um, this guy has more kind of kill ability, but he's easier to kite. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching this. Hope this helps. I'll be doing a more comprehensive guide um, a little bit after I learn this guy a little bit better. This is just a basic guide. Anyways, thanks for watching.